Yo, what up, guys? It's your boy, Son TJ, here to review Bleach Chapter 680. And man, Bleach is ending soon. It's probably going to end in probably next month. Like, it's finally coming. My top list is finally coming. All you guys have been waiting for it is finally coming because I knew Bleach is ending soon. I know a lot of people saying it's nowhere near, you know, the climax of the series. Dude, it's the climax, okay? We're, we're getting there. We don't know how many chapters left, but it's ending soon. Now, this chapter really is just pretty much the villain looks unstoppable. Like, pretty much unstoppable. We got a few um, little interviews from Kubo on how to defeat Yuha, but other than that, it's like, pretty much Yuha is taking everything, and he's about to wreck shit up. And the heroes are pretty much doomed. Ichigo has lost every single power he has. Like, I think Kubo has written himself in a corner here because we only have a few chapters left. How's he going to explain how you all gets defeated? I don't know. Let's talk about the entire chapter. Pretty much it starts off with Ichigo saying that the, his Quincy powers given by his mother are disappearing. And his hollow powers and hollow powers in them, his hollow powers and Shinigami powers are all in one. The hollow powers is the Shinigami powers. That's the, that's disappearing. So pretty much his hollow and Shinigami powers are gone. They're, they're gone. Okay. They're, they're, they're disappeared. They've been taken away from Yuha. If uh, Yuha laughs and is engulfed by a huge ass black wave, pretty much at the absorb Ichigo's powers, he's pretty much complete. And we cut back to Uyu versus like Jugram. He's pretty much talking about that. Because you guys remember saying that you all you care about is your friendship and stuff. That you've grown so much stronger as soon as you teamed up with Yuha. And Uyu says he never cared about getting stronger. He just wanted to be with his friends. And Drew Grant's pretty much saying, you never want to sacrifice your life for Yuha and stuff like that. It's pretty much, you know, riding Yuha's dick as he usually does. <laughs> then, like, the thing that gets on my nerves in this chapter really is, like, don't worry, I like the setup. I know he's really saying that the villain, like, the villain is unstoppable. But I don't like how he's pretty much just copped out of the he just really just copped out on jugram because jugram just gets sucked up like pretty much okay this is what happens yuha takes like takes the rest of the stern riddles in his power he much takes away it's ichigo's powers he absorbs jugram and he absorbs the uh, miracle the miracle fight is done he just took away his powers and he took away jugram's powers apparently as well these two guys are just gone they're boss about like i could tell the ending of bleach is being rushed because these two fights or just gone. They literally, I thought at least somehow like uh, Ichigo's dad or Uyu's dad is gonna come in and, like defeat these two guys. No, they're just saying fuck it. <laughs> We're just gonna get rid of Jugram and the Almighty, not the Almighty, but the Miracle. Like, I feel like that's the ultimate cop out I ever seen. Just pretty much the um, you are saying like I don't need the Stern Raider, I don't need you Ichigo. I have taken all the powers. Look at me wrong. I like how Yuha is pretty much he has he has taken every power that's out there and made it his own. Even though there's still pieces of, you know, the uh, Soul King out there. Because all we know is the heart, the upper body, and like two arms. We don't know the legs. We don't know any of that. But we're not going to talk about that. So that's pretty much how the chapter is with um, uh, Renji and Rukia coming in. It's like they can't do anything. And you are pretty much giving off a monologue talking about that. No matter what you fuckers do, you can't stop me. And um, ma make sure to remember it. And these girls is like frozen in fear. Even though... So pretty, that's pretty much it. The chapter, man, just d despair, really, no hope. Um, the only people that could come in at this point is the uh, the guys from the Fullbring arc, because um, Kubo has said that the key to defeating Yuha is the um, God, you know, the blade um, that like can affect people's memories. Tsukushima from the the Fullbring arc, he's saying his blade is very specific on maybe what could stop Yuha. So. The things that can help the team now is that freaking Ichibe comes in from the Royal Guard. He's like the strongest out there and his, his ability should be back at this point. Ishin and Uyu's dad should come in at any time now. Aizen, get off that fucking chair and do something before the end of the series. The Fullbringers, and the only thing I see Ichigo being relevant again because his powers are gone. They're wiped out the planet. Is that because his Shinigami powers are a fusion of the Hollow powers or, or is the Hollow powers. That's his Zanpakuto. The only way they could see is that they might pull up, well, the um, the Quincy powers and the hollow powers is, ho is holding back his true Shinigami powers. Because, you know, all those things are classic against each other. Maybe if you take away those two powers, his full Shinigami powers will fully, you know, fully explode. You never know. You might, Cooper might pull that bullcrap. But either way, I don't see how Yuha's being beaten in a logical fashion. Like, because Ichigo was the key 
and literally he lost all his miracle powers of the mixture of the Quincy, the Hollow, the Shinigami. And if I if we're assuming that the Shinigami and the Hollow are still all in one, all those powers are gone. Ichigo's just a normal human at this point. So the only way I can see this is that Ichigo still has like some type of Shinigami powers without the Hollow is separate now. Now he now he's even stronger without the Quincy and, and the Hollow, which makes no sense to me, but it might be. I don't know, he might explain that. I just, I really feel like he's written himself in a corner here. Like, even with the ice and stuff, it wasn't that bad because I feel like Ichigo had to train, you know, learn this stuff and win. But with this, it's like, you have created such a powerful villain that just, just took away everything. And the funny thing is, he ruined a lot of good fights by taking away Drew Graham, an awesome villain, and the Miracle, and just said, F them, and I'm just going to take their powers. Like, I can feel like Bleach is being rushed at this point, and he's written himself in the corner, and it's going to be a bullshit way how to win this. But... My overall rating for the chapter because I'm I'm starting to say the same thing over and over again. I will say it's a seven out of ten good. It would be higher if it would be it would be higher if it just to feel like the two fights that that it's just a cop out. Like I can just feel like I can just feel Bleach is rushing at this point. Like we got to get to there. We got to we got to get rid of these fights. We got to hurry up, hurry up. And I don't really like that too much, man. But that's just how I feel. Um, if you like the video, like the video. If you dislike the video, dislike the video. If you enjoyed the comment, subscribe. Make sure to comment. Tell me what you think about what's going on with Bleach. And it's about to end. Tell me if you're excited for my Bleach list. It's coming out soon as Bleach ends. It's going to end in like, a, I know, like in the next month or a couple weeks now. It's going to end, man. So, yeah, guys. Sun to you Peace. Love you all. Hey, hit records on my demo. Did y'all boys not get the memo? I do not stay at the Intercontinental And anything I got is not a rental I own that motherfucker, figure it out, this shit is simple My stock is going up like a crescendo A bunch of handshakes from the face I told y'all motherfuckers, man, this shit